Please adhere to YouTube selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. Do not, I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behavior shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Today, I'm going to be testing out a cost-efficient smart battery. I was sent over this bad boy by Silicon, and this right here is called the Lit Buff 2, okay? It's a 510 thread cartridge battery, and when I first, like, saw this, I was like, yo, that looks extremely elegant super super elegant in my opinion it kind of reminded me like that one brand vessel and what the kind of batteries that they have they look kind of very very similar to this but i do feel like this has its own unique look to it so i was like you know what dude it looks like it might meet up to my standards so let me go ahead and give it a try without further ado today i'm gonna be testing out the budget friendly meets high class 510 thread cartridge battery by silicon okay you're probably already asking yo sebi what makes this battery a smart battery is it because it has an lcd screen no just because something has an lcd screen it doesn't mean that it makes it a smart battery okay my personal opinion when i think of a smart cartridge battery i'm thinking of a cartridge battery that has some intelligent heating temperature profiles that's going to burn my oils perfectly that's probably gonna have an auto on and off feature definitely has to have some variable wattages but what I'm looking for the most is that I wanted to burn my oil at a perfect temperature because as we all know nowadays there's so many batteries out there that are complete butt cheeks bro literally complete butt cheeks they lie to you when it comes down to the variable wattages and it's really not true it literally burns up your oil it makes it dark and you really have to be careful with a lot of batteries but with this one right here they said that this one right here has an intelligent heating profile so I'm gonna go ahead and test that out for today I believe that this does have three different variable wattages it has a USB type C charging port right here it's a 290 milliamp battery inside of this bad boy now what from what I'm reading right here the three different variable wattages is gonna be 2.4 which is pretty low 2.8 and then 3.2 that in my opinion are the perfect perfect variable wattages because that's all you need really 3.2 for the distillate 2.8 8 probably for like live resin and then 2.4 for live rosin all right ladies and gentlemen so you can really get the terps out of your cartridge now another feature that this has that i really like about it is this right here so it has this little cover right here that you can put over your 510 thread cartridge and that's supposed to save it okay now i know other devices out there like the yo can it has that kind of same feature but it retracts it into the battery itself but my main problem with yo can is that it's just too bulky for my in my opinion all right i don't like having bulky devices that reminds me of like vape mods from fucking 2005 i like something a little bit more elegant like this bad boy right here like this looks like it could be some sort of like flashlight if it didn't have this thing connected onto it that's how elegant this thing is right so right here it does have the silicon branding right there like i said the protective casing for your 510 thread cartridges five clicks goes ahead and turns this bad boy on on, but what I like about it is that it has a very very strong vibration feature right the haptic feedback as soon as you turn it on or off it'll vibrate letting you know that it's on as soon as you want to switch the wattages three clicks goes ahead and does that and then it has like the vibration on this is it's like strong it has a very very nice feel to it and this slim little pen right here and then two clicks I believe I don't, I'm not really too sure what two clicks does like if that's like a preheating it might might be a little bit of a preheat or it might be just letting you know like what the current battery state is it's three full bars so i'm assuming that it's fully charged but without further ado i have right here inside of here one of my favorite 510 third carts right now so let's just dig into this all right um, I guess what I want like aside from the design which let, let me just go ahead and touch base on that I love the design right I love how minimalistic it is I love I believe they do have different colors this one right here is kind of like kind of like a bronzish goldish type color and in my opinion it's very elegant it's very different and the combination with the black color scheme right here it's just overall perfect little window casing right here so you could see how much oil is left inside of your cartridge and they're not really missing out on anything this right here 
right here feels very, very nice. Let me go ahead and take off the cartridge real quick because, yeah, holding it in my hand, it has a very light feel to it. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Very, very light feel to it. And, bro, right here just looks exquisite, right? So enough with the talking. Let me just go in on my first ever hit. I am going to try all three different variable wattages, everything from the low 2.4, from the high 3.2. So without further ado, let me get into this. Ooh. Wow. That made it taste, I mean, pretty freaking good. Decent amount of clouds right there. Super smooth hit. The overall airflow on this is damn near perfect, all right? The restriction on this, not too much. And it's just very, very perfect. You can get nice milky clouds from this. You don't have to want to adjust it whatsoever. And so far, so good. I'm digging this, okay? And another thing that I like about it is like while you're hitting it, I think it's like maybe every three seconds or something like that. It'll do a little vibration. And what's cool about that is that you could kind of use that like for like as a dosing type of like timer, you know? As soon as you feel that vibration, you know that it's been like two to three seconds. But it's especially for those medical patients that really don't want to go overboard. This battery right here comes in very, very clutch. I, I, I really like this. I really like this. Like I test out batteries all the time. You guys know that on this channel. This right here might be one of my favorite ones that I've had so far. Very elegant, very sophisticated, bro. I like the overall color scheme of this. The vibration haptic feedback is on point. The branding, it's not over the top and it's like, it's just perfect in my opinion, right? Definitely one of my favorite batteries so far. Now it's time to switch it up, three clicks. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the medium setting and see how this bad boy is hitting. Wow. Even though I'm getting like massive clouds off this thing, it's not as harsh, it's not, or it's not as like, oh, it makes me, give me that irritation to wanna cough. Very, very smooth. Like, like if it's low temperature, but it's like the perfect low temperature setting to where you're getting like enough, like a massive amount of clouds while still not sacrificing the flavor whatsoever. Right there tasted as good as the other setting did, okay? So very, like, like I said, this thing just keeps surprising me. It's definitely, in my opinion, from what I'm starting to feel like, and you notice this after years of consuming cartridges and consuming different types of batteries and stuff like that, that this right here is a true 2.4, a true 2.8, and a true 3.2, all right, ladies and gentlemen? Like, it's getting the perfect amount of clouds, the perfect amount of terpene flavors, and yeah, this right here might be, in my opinion, like, on the stronger side of like batteries, you know? It definitely is on point with the wattages and that intelligent heating temperature control is, it's definitely putting it in work, all right, ladies and gentlemen. I might, I might even say that this right here might be the strongest smart battery that I've ever had. Like I've tried the Vessel ones before and those are good. I'm not really too much of a fan of the airflow on that one. That's kind of what throws me off. I'm paying a shit ton of money on top of like it really being expensive. Whereas this, like I said, it's cost efficient, all right? So you have to take that in mind when comparing it to other brands such as Vessel where they have similar looks, very, very distinguished, like elegant looks to it. This right, in my opinion, I feel like this one wins just because of the cost efficient factor, right, ladies and gentlemen. So last but not least, let's go ahead and click this bad boy three more times and that's gonna switch it to the last color, which is gonna be orange. Like you would think that they would put it like red or something like that, like the normal standard is, but yeah, they're putting in like a, like a very warm orange and I'm digging it, all right? I'm going to go in on this final one and if you've made it this far into the video, let me get a let me get a milky in the comments down below. And also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Let's get it. Whew. Oh yeah, I definitely felt that one. Definitely, definitely felt that one. I don't know though. I feel like the more that I use it, the more that I'm starting to get kind of like attached to this battery. And there's something special about it. There's something special about using this, like the user-friendly features that. Just it makes me want to keep using it, you know? And um, yeah, very, very something special about this freaking battery right here, right, ladies and gentlemen? So with all that being said, the Silicon Lit Buff 2. I wish Loki they chose a different name. That's kind of, it's not a bad name, but it's definitely a longer name than I would like. But yeah, this right here, I'm definitely gonna have to go ahead and give it, um, I'm gonna give it a 9.0 out of 10, all right? 
The only reason it's not getting anything higher is that I maybe I do wish that I had a little bit more different variable wattages, like maybe turn it up to like a 3.5, maybe go all the way up to 3.8. Very, very unnecessary, but it, I mean, I feel like it could come in clutch, right, ladies and gents? With all that being said, 9.0 for this battery. Now, if you guys enjoyed today's quick little review on this, don't forget to do me a favor by leaving a fat like for the algorithm, a comment down below, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video.